Hello, everybody. Praise be to God, and welcome to the final episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We have completed just about everything in the entire game except the Pit of a Hundred Trials, and we are devoting this entire episode to beating it. In fact, I might even need to split this episode up into multiple parts because of just how long it takes to get for the pit. But I've got my whole afternoon cleared, so we're gonna do it. There's no better time than now. So, for those of you who missed the last video, I'll basically go over. I've got a huge inventory filled of awesome items, so those will all help. Uh, I've got my badges. I've got a nice badge set, a badge setup for the pit, and this is what I'm going to do for at least the first 54s. I've got multi bounce equipped, so this will let me jump on all enemies' heads. I also have the jump man badge equipped, which allows me to uh, increases my jumping power by one, but I can't use my hammer. I also have two power pluses and all or nothing, so that's actually ultimately all four of those are going to give me plus four attack power, then another attack power because of my P up D down. I have the two damage dodges. Flower saver, which means I can do multi-bounce with only one FP consumed each time. I have two flower saver Ps, which I'll use for my partners in case I need them in battle. I have the ice power and spike shield. Those badges will allow me to jump on any enemy's heads without hurting myself. And then quick change, which allows me to quickly change out my partners, and then of course all of these attack FX badges. All right, let's do it.
here we are, the 50th floor, where we left off last time we did the pit. And also, the guy told us to clear the graffiti here, so... There's graffiti on the wall here. Swab's wish. I want to get married to Baba Link, my dear love, in a shocker wedding. I want us to have 22 kids so we can start a soccer team, Shabooey. This graffiti was scrawled on with a fierce hand. It might never come off. Well, we'll just have to fix that, won't we? And there goes the graffiti. So now whenever we want, we can go back up to the surface and talk to the guy and he'll give us the reward. But we're halfway there. We're going all the way down. And at this point, I shall probably keep my commentary. And no more fast forwarding. Yep! So here's the first guy. <laughs> These enemies are nasty. These are badge bandits. Also known as dark bandits. That's a badge bandit. He's a bandit who will go after your badges. That jerk! Max HP is 12, attack is 5, and defense is 0. He has high attack power and HP. He sometimes steals a badge when he tackles you, so use your guard carefully. And even if he gets one, keep your cool, okay? If he runs from battle, you can always find him and re-engage him. Well, we're keeping with the multi-bounce speed. But at this point, it's not enough to kill them. Hey, he didn't use his Ice Storm, which is good. Yeah, this is where enemies are going to start hitting a lot harder. And multi-bounce isn't enough to kill them anymore. And what with having to use Gumbella to Tato instead of Rally Wink? Things are becoming more dangerous now. Yeah, the second half of the Pit of 100 Trials is where things get a lot tougher. And we're going to try to get the first strike from now on. I didn't get the first strike in other times because, well... It just went faster if I didn't. But here I have to look out for my safety now. Oh my gosh, I can kill Moon Clefts by jumping on them. That is insane. They have really high defense. Well, how about that? I also have a ton of money, which is good, because I might have to buy stuff from the Pedor on the later floors, and he charges outrageous prices. Ooh, hey, it's a Dark Boo! I like Dark Boos. They're cute. I do not like Badge Bandits, though. They are not cute. Yeah. Alright, it's time for me to use an item, methinks. I'm gonna use the Ink Pasta. That'll give Mario that nice HP bump up, and restore his FP. <laughs> what was that for? That did nothing. Get out of here. Gumbella's like, is it done? Are we over? Yes, we are. And I got to steal two different HP up badges. I stole an HP plus and an HP plus P. HP plus P is one of the rarest badges and hardest to get. Hi, I forgot if red chomps appeared down here. I love those fire jets. Well. Aw, oh, darn it. If only I had one more power. No, she's not going to damage them at all. What am I thinking? Ouch. Mm, look at all that money, though. If only I could buy level ups. That would be great. I think you can get multiple copies of the multi-bounce badge at the Pianta Parlor. 
I probably should have gotten another one, because I believe that increases the power of multi-bounce. It doesn't increase the amount of times you jump on each enemy, it just... I think it increases the power by one. And it makes it cost an extra FP to use, but that's okay. I... Also, I didn't point it out before, but check out that audience. It's huge now. <laughs> One thing I'm gonna do is, under badges, I'm gonna unequip damage dodge P and equip P up D down P. Just so this way Goombella now deals 4 damage per head bonk and thus can kill Dark Boots real quickly, and can also damage these red chops. Oh, um... Okay, apparently I did that on them. Ooh yeah, Goombella's on fire! I know I'm playing fi with heavy fire by lowering my defense that much. But hey, if it can get through the battles really quickly... Ooh! We're on floor 60. I believe floor 60 now. Ooh, yeah. What's in here? We got the double dip badge! During battle, you can use two items in one turn. Well, how about that? Alright, we're gonna keep going down. <laughs> the things are getting really dangerous now. Oh, yep. Hello, you. These are dark lacketoos. They're a bit more challenging to deal with than regular lacketoos. <laughs> That's a dark lacketoo. It rides a rain cloud. Max HP is 13, attack is 5, and defense is 0. It attacks by throwing pipes at you. If it's holding up a pipe when you jump on it, you'll get hurt. And sometimes the pipes it throws turn into sky blue spinies. Whoa! If you only attack the spinies, you'll never win, so go after the Dark Lagatu. Oh, so that's how you want to play, eh? No, it's never the one I want. All right, well, now we have to tattle on the Sky Blue Spinies. They're a separate tattle, you know. That's a Sky Blue Spiny. It appeared from a pipe thrown by the Dark Lakitu. Max HP is 6, attack is 6, and defense is 4. It'll totally charge at you. Sometimes it balls up to defend and store energy for an attack. If you can, beat it in any buddies it may have with a special attack.
Oh, this isn't good. I'm gonna use Heart Attack to finish these guys off. I forgot they could hypercharge like the Hyper Goombas. Oh no, I can't actually damage? Oh, that stinks. Okay, well, I at least wanted to kill the Lakitu there. Alright. <laughs> and they still only gave me one star point. And that was even a tough fight. Yeah, this is the point of the dungeon where the enemies start getting pretty crazy amounts of HP. And hey, Dry Bones! We're getting Palace of Shadow enemies now. Oh yes! And who could forget Dark Claw? Remember him from the Glitzville? And he was one enemy? He's a common enemy now. Isn't that just amazing? And he's, he also gives me no star points. Yeah. You can see just how serious the Pit of 100 Trials is now. Still want to keep out Goombella for new tattles, of course. Oh yeah, Dark Wizards. They're back with a vengeance. Hmm. Fun. So I'm going to start by using, where is it, Zest Dynamite, Blasting Powder, and it atta attacks all foes. <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, Rally Wink me, please. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Alright. It's... I've got full star power and low everything else. It's time to use Sweet Feast. Let's hope I can avoid the poison mushrooms. Wow, they were all at the very end. Okay, yep, I'm very happy with that. Really? Okay, well... Gotta build up the star power meter again, I guess. I think Vivian's might be Fiery Jinx. Takes 4 FP because of the Flower Saber badges. They still give me star points. But the Dark Craws don't. That's kind of astonishing to me. Keep in mind, I've got tons of items at my disposal, so I'm not super worried about that. Oh, hey, Frost Piranha.
<laughs> yes, you are seeing this correctly. Those are all Dark Craws. Thank you! And Bingo was his name -o. No, I don't want more x knots in the audience. I want Luigi. I want an, an audience filled with just Luigi. All 200 seats are taken up by different Luigis. Oh, no, not you. Oh, no, not you, the Dark Wizard. That's even worse. Not quite. Dry bones are pretty easy to deal with. Oh, hey, a super shroom. That'll help. Like, I'm actually going to use that right now, I think. Yeah, I'll use that on Goombella. Oh, and that guy's got a life shroom. Lovely. Ooh, okay. Completely fills up his HP. Isn't that sweet? Not really. Oh, and I get a life shroom for that. Lovely, because I needed more life shrooms. I am very happy with that, actually. does not deserve glory. Alright, Coops, follow me. <laughs> down, down we go. Into this torture pit. Oh, hey! It's this guy! I was wondering when we'd see him. And we get the double dip P badge. Okay. You, during battle, you let's your ally use two items in one turn. I thought the only one you could get was in Far Outpost. We are now on level 70. So this guy... He, as you can see, is a puny, and I f he, he randomly appears in floors, basically. Hey, what's up? I'm a mover. I know a few things about getting through this dungeon. For a few coins, I can move you to where you want to go. Where do you want to go? I don't want to go anywhere. 
Because basically, he can move you down to several levels, which can be useful, but the problem is if you do that, chances are you're going to miss out on an enemy you can tattle on. I don't want to miss any tattles. However, it's a bit... Yep, because I always miss these guys. I think this might be the one and only floor they actually appear on. This is a, just a regular wizard. That's a wizard. It's a part machine, part organic, centuries old thane. Max HP is 10, attack is 6, and defense is free. It uses magic to attack, heal, and alter your condition, so stay on guard. Its defense is high, but we can totally take this fane. Alright, well, I'm just gonna use art attack to blow through these guys. Because I don't want to take damage. Those chin chops look so sad. They each gave me a star point, which gives me a level up. Alright, which one? I'll do FP. Now we got 45 of each. One thing I'm going to do... I don't think I really need all the Flower Saber badges on anymore, and I really would rather have defense at this point. So... Damage dodge P, and this will give me a chance to do one of each of those. Beautiful. And yep, Dark Koopa Trolls are now common enemies as well. Let's get Sid in here. Gulp him. Aw, oh, shoot, that doesn't damage 7 to both of them. But now I at least take less damage from him. Or four. Because I have so many massively FP refilling items like jam and jellies and stuff, I don't really need to save a whole lot of uh, FP now that I'm through the first, like, several ten versions of ten floors. Oh, hi there. Oh my! <laughs> the gain's all here. Uh, oh. Pluses are the way to go. Oh wow, these guys get stay flipped over for a while. And I also pretty much have maxed out coins now. Actually, I bet I will have maxed out coins now. Yep, you can't get past 999 coins. Hello, Mr. Swoopula. Um, no thank you. None of them give me star points. However, we are, are at the point where we no longer have to chase down those coins. Hello, Arf Arf. Hmm. This is a fun. 
fun choice we have to make. Oh, coops. Shell Slam! Actually, oh, holy cow. I forgot how powerful Koops is with Shell Slam with his uh, P up D down badge. Okay, maybe it's not this version of the wizard that I always miss. Maybe it's a different version. Get rid of the wizards, they're really annoying. We've got Quick Change, so we can go to Goombella, she can Rally Wink me. Not quite, Mario. Now we can flip this guy over, so he can't use his shoes. But we still haven't encountered the most annoying enemy in the Pit of 100 Trials. Oh, oh, oh no. Not even close. Because these Dark Coop Patrols, despite having 25 HP apiece and being really powerful with great defense, because you can flip them over, they're really not all that annoying. other enemies who wait till you see. Oh, great. The audience <laughs> fell asleep because of the crazy daisy. So yeah, Pit of 100 Trials, not for the faint of heart. Ooh, flowers. at the 80th floor yet. Actually, would it be 80th or 90th? I'll have to check that. Oh, no. This isn't good. I have pretty much full HP, so... I won't worry about the swoopulas just yet. I probably should use a FP refilling item pretty darn soon, shouldn't I? Oh 
Oh, it's getting even darker. Our reward for this floor is the Bump Attack Badge! Bump into weak foes to defeat them without battling. But that doesn't work down here now, does it? Okay, we're on floor 80 now. Things just keep getting tougher.